We start in the nucleus of a skin, hair, or eye cell, or any other cell that uses melanin. First, we see the DNA, which encodes all the information for the TYR gene, or thyrosine gene, which is the one that we are looking at today. First, something called RNA polymerase comes into the unzipped DNA and transcribes the gene into mRNA. Then the DNA is zipped back up, and the RNA can disconnect and float out into the cytoplasm, as is seen here. The RNA will then bind onto a ribosome out in the cytoplasm. Once it's locked into the ribosome, any moment now, the ribosome will now have to read the mRNA and create the corresponding string of amino acids which will become the TYR protein. Now to do this, the ribosome will need the help of these tRNAs, which look rather like triangles. Each amino acid is coded for by a set of three, uh, three letters in the genetic code known as um, codons. Each set of three is known as a codon. The letters for mRNA are A, U, G, and C, and for RNA and for DNA are A, T, G, and C. The uh, here we can see which one each of the codons codes for, and um, eventually uh, they will form the string seen on the left, which is the first part of the thyrosine protein. To read it, of course, uh, the ribosome needs the tRNA, which has the opposite uh, letters to the ones found on the mRNA. This allows them to bind on and deposit the amino acid that is stuck to the end of them. This string continues for many hundreds of proteins, and uh, when it's done, the mRNA and tRNA can go on to make more proteins, and the protein itself now begins its job. Here we can see a sample of what the protein may look like, although in reality it's over 400 amino acids, with all sorts of interesting things like alpha helices and beta sheets that it folds itself into, giving it an overall shape and now it'll perform its job, which is to convert a chemical called L-DOPA through a whole set of chemical reactions that's really long and that's being listed right here if you want to actually read them, which will end in either pheomelanin or eumelanin. These are two of the three main melanin compounds that are used in skin, hair, and eye cells. Here, I am drawing the basic structure for all three of these melanin compounds. Melanin is a polymer, which means that it's lots of the same things strung together in a long line, and this is a single one of those units. When the pheomelanin and eumelanin polymerize, you get these pink, uh, you get a pink color from the pheomelanin and brown color from the eumelanin, which colors your skin those colors. Now, going back to the DNA, if any one of over 280 mutations were to happen to it that would damage the DNA, this entire system would break down, ca uh, causing albinism and leaving everything blank.